Tell me truthfully, Modin. How bad is it? It's not looking good. Aye. Figured. The frostbite was one thing. But that Fetcher stuck his dagger in my hand and I knew that was the end of it. I'll never wield a sword again, will I? I'm not talking about that. You don't need to. You're not a fool who risked his life trying to track down those blasted pirates. I'm lucky I made it out of there alive. And I'm surely not going after them alone next time. We barely have enough men to keep the town safe as it is. I can't pull them off watch. And I'd hate to lose any more veteran guard. I'm not talking about the guard, Modin. I'm saying I need someone who can handle that band of brigands while I stand in front with a shield. Excuse me? What? You thought I'd let this go out just because some fetcher with a shiv managed to get past my armor? These folks have been stirring trouble for weeks now. They're planning something. I just know it. I'm the one who kicked that hornet's nest and it's my duty as a rhetoric guard to... What's that look for? Councillor Morvane told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece. What? Huh. My unfortunate duty as Councillor, yes, yes. The Honourable Solvon de Ferrain, hereby discharged from service due to... Damn it. God's grief. I should have expected that. How about I just settle for some Maz tea and we'll forget I mentioned it. I'm not giving up, Modin. I may not be a guard anymore, but I still have a duty to our folk. Damn the counselor and damn how mangled my hands are. I will find a way to do that duty. I will get to the bottom of this, and I will bring justice down on whoever's behind it all. And if you're not going to come with me, I'll just have to find someone else who will. Thank mm -hmm. you.